$29. Yes, yes, and I bought two sets, yeah. Yeah, but silver's, silver's doubled since then. Right, so, exactly, yes, and thus. 129 to 249, you did good. <laughs> I did, I, I'm very happy and, about and that. <laughs> silver doubles again, that's why I'm talking about the $499, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly, and so that's why it's so important that you get on the phone. Because one, I have them. And when I bought these, silver had a little dip, okay? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's gone up several dollars an ounce since then. That would have to be reflected in our price if I were to go out and try to buy these in the marketplace again i'd have to buy you know first of all i'd have to get uh silver coins i'd have to get brilliant uncirculated coins i'd have to do all that then would be at least the 279 probably more like 299 and if silver goes on another run i mean you know it, 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 who knows like i said we get to the 499 price point well and, and mike, mike that you have you see we're under 200 mike, under 200 rolls left now right now mike when remember when silver and gold was astronomical what year yeah. was that Oh, uh, that was about seven years ago. Okay. Now, guys, then it took a big dip. So we're down. But remember, it's gone down, and now it's starting this tra trajectory up. And I think, personally, one of the reasons are is because of the instability of our world. You know, people want to have real metal in their hands. Uh, and, Mike, I'm sure you can attest to that. That's that's why there's so, well, such and, a lack and, and of it's silver. It's against inflation. Yes. I mean, have you watched the price of gas these days right. or eggs or milk or whatever? Yep. I, I mean, you know, uh, metals are always a hedge against inflation. Yes. And I, people always ask me, so what should I buy? Should I buy, like, you know, the stock market? Should I buy silver miners? I said buy physical silver. Yes, the get it in your hands. The silver eagles. But right now, silver eagles are untenable because they sell for such phenomenal premiums beyond their silver you know, so the next thing is going to be, you know, silver United States currency, silver United States coins, and that's exactly what we have going on here. And you can see these are going down two, three, four, five, eight, ten at a time is what's happening. I'm right. about halfway sold through everything I started the day with here. And so it's really important if you want silver coins and you want silver on sale in the, in, the, in, the, in the face of a rising silver market. And more importantly, like I said, go out there. Go to a, go to a, go to a dealer. So well, I don't have any silver. I saw one of the biggest minters. They, do the, you know, they make their own custom silver bars. I love their silver bars, right? They said, we will not have one-ounce bars for months, maybe not the end of the year. Because they have a limited supply of silver, they're just making 10-ounce bars. And they're making 20-ounce bars. And they're making 100-ounce bars because they figure, I don't have to do little bars, right? right? I don't have enough silver. And so what happens is, is these smaller, fungible amounts of silver, transactable amounts of silver, particularly in silver coins. And then those coins have numismatic value. Like I said, individually, coin by coin, $24 a coin. You're paying twelve fifty a coin. Right. So you get that numismatic value at what amounts to no additional cost or charge fantastic fantastic opportunity uh, uh for you on these coins like i said i've only got what 170 of these left yeah they're these flying are going, out of here with yeah, everybody on the phone right now yeah I, i'm certain i have fewer than 100 rolls to go around yeah so guys just stay right there again we've got a lot more coming up as we head into our second hour it's called coin collector if you're channel surfing i'm suzanne mike mizak's one of the world world's leading coin collectors i call him our favorite coin geek <laughs> man he has some of the craziest stories because he literally searched and because he has such a great reputation, someone will call him and say, look, I'm trying to buy these American Eagles. I got a stash of these. Will you just buy them? Because they know, they go to him. He's a well-known resource for buying a lot of coins. And that's how he's able to do this. I haven't seen us do the um, Kennedy Silver, Silver in a long, long time. Like I haven't had it on the air in forever. Clearly he got a very recent stash and then he turns it around and puts it on the air for us. And again, almost gone. Now I wanna promo a couple things still to come in this hour. And I wanted everybody to get a look at this. And I know Mike's gonna share about 30 seconds cause it's not coming up just yet. We're gonna talk platinum here in just a second. So I'm super pumped about that. But I think this is one of the most incredible sets you're going to see here on the show tonight. We've had a lot of cool stuff, but this is all three mints in a brand new trio. Mike, how in the world were you able to put together the type one from three mints considering emergency releases, the West Point normal release? Kind of tell us why this is so significant in your mind. Well, it's the last year of issue of the type one classic design eagle. It was made at three mints, primarily the West Point Mint, with a little help from the San Francisco Mint, a little less help from the Philadelphia Mint. I've got it in the 
San Francisco Bridge label, as you can see right there, the Philadelphia Bell label, and then the Statue of Liberty W West Point label, my custom set, you can't get this set anywhere else, all of them in Min State 70, all of them in Flag Corps, Flag Corps, of course, being 100%, uh, being 100% exclusive to me. So you get the Philadelphia, you get the Philadelphia Emergency, you get the San Francisco Emergency, you get the West Point. More importantly, I've got them in stock, ready to ship. We will discuss these in a minute. Folks, do not wait, do not hesitate. I, I Look, I don't want to be an alarmist, but, but that's what it's going to end up being. I'm going to explain this to you and why you need all three of these coins and why you need to buy them right now. Yes, and those are coming up, and that's why I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at it because there's a really important story behind it. But those of you who are coin collectors and you're up on the news of what's happening, you're ordering those now. You're just like, okay, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna show you one more thing that's actually coming up a little bit later. And this is our annex, first day of issue. Look at the addition of this. There's only 4,300 of the Silver Eagle dollar coin. And again, this is 2021. Mike, why did you separate this out as this edition? Well, that's what that's what I could get. <laughs> Called in every favor I've made in uh, in forty years, and I was able to get four thousand three hundred coins. Now, wow. that, and then we'll explain. This is the coin that sold out in six minutes from the United States Mint. We had to pay premium for this. I didn't get these from the United States Mint. We had to go into the secondary market. I bought no. some coins. These. This is the coin that sold out in six minutes. It's already selling for huge premiums in the secondary market. I bought it early. This is my original issue price. It's certified. And if we can see on this, this proof coin, it, it'll be the most significant coin of 2021, uh, you know, particularly the type ones. How many we have left? Because I've sold this, I think, once or twice before right. uh, uh, with this, you know, at six or eight or ten minutes at a time. I do not have 4,300 left. Okay, so that's going to be coming up, guys. Stay with us. Um, we'll talk about that in just a moment. But first, I thought this was kind of cool. By the way, if you missed our dinosaur coin, we had a dinosaur coin the first of last hour. Maybe we can pop it up just later because I think it's just a cool coin. Um, and that was brand new. And this one is also brand new. It was safe for you and I tonight. No one has seen it so far. Now we're talking about, this is cool, the 2021 Platinum Eagle. I don't ever recall doing, I know I haven't done all your shows, Mike, but I don't recall doing a platinum silver, well, platinum eagle. It's not even a silver well, eagle. the United States government has been making platinum eagles since 1997. Okay. The, the problem is, is platinum, it wasn't that long ago. Platinum was more than $3,300 an ounce. This is an ounce of pure platinum. All right. What I really need for you to do, it has the Statue of Liberty on the front. Yeah, you want to turn it over? I need you to turn it over. Sure. I've only got 28 of these. The United States government does themes within the platinum coins. And this coin is very, very, very important. I know it says there's 33 there. That's not true. There's only 28 of those coins. There's only 28 because it's the 28 in the limited edition. Okay. Oops. I have the uh, – that is a – a mock-up coin is what that is uh, because they're just about to release it. That's why. Okay. What they're starting to do – what they're starting to do – is this year the platinum series that they're doing is going to honor the amendments to the constitution huh. so this particular coin of which i only have 28 because they're only doing a couple of thousand or something several thousand is the first amendment you can turn it back over and show the liberty side um so it is for the first amendment so next year's coin will be Second Amendment and Third Amendment, all the way on down. So it is a long-time series. It is going to be a long-time series is what this is going to be, okay? Long-time series. And so it is crazy important that you're going to have this. This is the 2021 that we have. Uh, this is the regular Platinum Eagle. This is the Mint State coin. I'm totally off base here. My mistake. I thought we were doing the proof coin. This is the mint state coin. This is even rarer. This just came out. I, I'm, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I'm sorry that we have – I didn't realize that we would even have this coin. That's amazing. This is the mint state coin. It's the proof coin that's going to be the amendment series. So this coin is the regular mint state platinum coin. There are 28 of these. It is the single rarest coin ever put out by the United States government in every single solitary year. Look at the face value. 
hundred dollars. It is one hundred dollars face value. It is one ounce of pure platinum. It is one ounce of pure platinum is what this coin is, and it is the 2021. Now, here's the interesting part. They're changing the silver, and they're, in essence, changing the gold, but they're not going to change the platinum. So it will continue on, okay? It will continue on for several years. I think you have to make it 25 years before they can change it. So we're coming to the end. So what's going to happen is the silver and gold coins are going to take basically all of the oxygen out of the room. And so the Platinum Eagle in this year could well end up, in my opinion, being the rarest of all the Platinum Coins, which are incredibly, phenomenally, ridiculously rare anyway, is ultimately what it comes down to, which is why I've only got, which is why I've only got 28 coins, and it's one ounce of pure platinum, one ounce of pure platinum. So a great opportunity for you to get the brand new 2020. I didn't know we had the mint state coins. It's, it's so funny, Suzanne, we've done this for so long. We have planes flying around, you know, <laughs> yeah. getting coins and flying them in. <laughs> yeah, it's fascinating. <laughs> they will bring a person in and fly one coin, one sample, like one coin in on a plane right. just to be here in the show. And I love it because it happens so rapidly and so last minute because the whole coin things, the fluctuations and everything's happening. He, we got Mike on that one. He was even surprised about this one. Yeah, so, well, I'm assuming, because it was funny, because I was doing some research earlier today on the on the proof platinums this year right. that, that they're going to do. And so that was stuck in my head. And then I look out and I go, wait, wait it's a mistake coin. <laughs> it snuck up on me. Hey, I've got I a know, question. I'm, I'm pretty hard? focused on the Silver Eagles right now. And, right. and I think that's a perfect example of what's going to happen with this coin. Is I mean, I overlooked it. It's my It's my life. Right. Right? And I overlooked the Mint State Platinum coin that the United States government is going to do. Well, I mean, what do you think is going to happen in the general marketplace? This, the chances of this being the rarest platinum coin that the United States government makes, I think, is, is the chances of that just went up exponentially. I think everybody's <laughs> going to be overlooking this because everybody's looking at the silver. Everybody's right. looking at the gold. They're not I mean, paying like the attention four, to this. The four-piece gold proof set, yeah. it's like, it was like $8,000. There was 8500 of them. The Mint sold them out in four minutes. Stop it. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, my it was, gosh. It was crazy. The one ounce gold is more than this. So, oh. in other words, if I was to sell you the 2021 type gold, the proof gold I coin, yeah. I couldn't do it for $3,300. No it would be kidding. like $7,000. When was the last time that I could sell platinum for less than half the price of gold? <laughs> and then with the limited edition of only 28, several of these have already gone. We're probably down to about a four dozen or so of these. You're going to have rarity. You've got the platinum part of it. Platinum is, I think, extraordinarily, extraordinarily cheap in the marketplace right now. And you've got the mint state coin that everybody, including myself, <laughs> is absolutely <laughs> positively overlooking. Yeah, there will be a lot of coins out there that because there's such a craze for the whole Eagle story, type one, type two, all that, that will be missed. And then people will go back and say, oh, wait, that slipped through. Wait a minute. I need to get my hands on that one. And again, very rare, really unique opportunity. Okay, this next one's actually brand new and we say this specifically for tonight's show we knew it was going to be a really really big deal and for anybody who's trying to collect coins it's almost an impossible trio on your own to be able to collect that's why we really turn to mike to be able to put these you a unique and unusual trios together because you've got to know where they're from how to get a hold of them and then get them graded and then put them all together and that's really almost impossible for most of us well here you go he has done it he has taken one collection from all three mints you get the 2021 type one from the west point mint and then you're getting the 2021 all perfect condition from the san francisco mint which is the emergency production we talked about earlier and you're getting the 21 21 from the emergency philadelphia mint and again most of the time they are not marked with what mint other than west points puts a w on it right but most of the time there's no mint marks on these no, West Point doesn't put the mint mark on this either. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So yeah, that's no, even no, no. harder to figure the, out. The, the idea from the United States Mint is that Mint State American Silver Eagles are what they call homogeneous. Okay, got it. They don't want you to be able to differentiate them. It's our job to differentiate them, 
Okay. And and that's where the rubber meets the road, if you will. Yes. And and, and what I mean by that is is you gotta be on top of when it's released. You have to be, you know, you have to be in with the authorized producers. You have to know the box numbers. You have to have contacts at the mint. You gotta be able to do that stuff to even know that the coins are from the Philadelphia mint, from the San Francisco mint, or from the West Point mint, because they don't have mint marks. They don't mark them, yeah. So you've got to get the sealed boxes, you've got to get the right box numbers, and then you've got to get them to the grading company. But it's more than that on this particular uh, issue. I've been trying to convey, and I, and I don't know if I've done a, a, a very good job of it, but I've been very much trying to convey how difficult this 2021 Mint State Silver Eagle is going to be. And I don't care if it's West Point, San Francisco, Philadelphia. Philadelphia by far the rarest, then San Francisco, and then the most common, quote-unquote, is the West Point Mint. I don't think people are even beginning to grasp the phenomenal rarity, the phenomenal rarity of the Mint State American Silver Eagle this last year of issue, or last half year of issue, if you will. I think people, because I'm in the market, so I see it every day. I live it every day. I live the fact that there are no Philadelphia mini coins. There's no San Francisco minted, you know, boxes. If I hadn't have bought them three months ago, I wouldn't own them. That West Point mini coins are two weeks or three weeks or four weeks delayed in shipment. So if you don't own the coins, you can't get the coins. I'm the one that's seen premiums double, triple, quadruple from what we've seen historically out there in the marketplace. I'm the one that realizes, as other dealers, Dealers do that the United States Mint is going to start making the Type 2 coins because the demand for this is unprecedented. I sold more of the 2021 Eagles of any Silver Eagle I've ever sold here on HSN. It's not even close. But the fact of the matter is, is over the last 15 years, this is the rarest coin as we look at mintage right now. The average mintage figures over the last 15 years is about 30 million coins a year. They've not only, they, they haven't even made 10 million coins so far. Mm. They're not even at 10 million coins right now. And that includes Philadelphia and San Francisco. You have to understand they're going to make these for only six months. Right. And already they've been making them for five. Because understand they started in 2020. They have to start making the Type 2 coins about a month from now, maybe six weeks from now. And given the fact that it's two or three or four weeks on back order for any, and the, the S's are sold out, the P's are sold out, that was a one-shot yeah. deal. The West Points, functionally, there's only two or three weeks of production left. Oh and the Mint cut production on Gold Eagles, for instance, by about 80%. They're cutting production on the Silver Eagles by about 75% in the face of it being the most popularly collected Silver Eagle in the entire series since it's the very last coin. The only thing that even comes close to this, and it's about the same mintage right now, is the first year of this year. And if I sold you right. three okay. of those, it would be $2,000. Yeah. Okay, it would be $2,000. So what you have here is a complete set. This is all three. So they did the West Point Mint. They assumed that would be the only coin that they were going to make. But they couldn't do it, so they added the San Francisco Mint to help out, which they did. And they made a small quantity, which sold out instantaneously. Then they, then they said, okay, Philadelphia Mint, can you kick in? And they did, but even at a smaller number. And already they are so horrifically behind. And what's going to happen is this. I'm telling people this now, and it's going to come to bear. I can tell you that. The United States government, when they start making the Type 2s, aren't going to make these Type 1s anymore. And as we get closer, as we get closer to the Type 2s being released, demand will go up even more than what it is right now, which is at historic levels. Now add in the shortage in silver, add in the fact that anything silver, particularly so even back here, American Silver Eagles, are absolutely impossible to get at this point let alone this year. So if they were going to underproduce a year, that would make the coin rare and valuable and desirable. But how about underproducing the most significant year in the entire series, which is the last year, the transition, and instead of making it for a year, right. it's a half a year. They're making it for six months. Right, it's a half a year. And nobody knew so that was gonna, coming. They're, they're going to make 10 or 12 million coins, maybe.
Right, but here's what the crazy thing is. Now they're backing up against having, they must produce the type two coin. And when he's talking about that, because a lot of you might not know the story, it's the eagle on the back. The eagle on the back, this design is gonna completely change. It does not change in 25 years. So going into this year, that was the story. It was, oh my gosh, when we get the 2021 coins, it's gonna be the new eagle design on the back of the coin. But the US government, because of all the craziness last year, said, no, wait, hang on. We're just gonna go ahead and release the 2021 with the old design. Oh, and by the way, we've never done this before. The new design's gonna come out halfway through the year and we've still gotta make those. So that's what Mike's trying to relay to you. They're just in such a time crunch and they simply don't have the capacity to meet the incredible demand. They're not meeting but it now. And that's and there's, because of the COVID pandemic. And that's because of COVID, because they had to shut down some of the mints. They had to reduce their staff at the mints. Everything has changed everything. And so when they decided that they weren't going to launch the year with the new design, everyone was waiting for that. You guys knew that was going to happen. And they didn't know they were going to extend for six months, oh, by the way, the old design with a new date on it. That was right. the news. That's what changed. It was already a big story going from the old design to the new design. Then it became even bigger. And I think that's what Mike's trying to share with you. Being right. able and to that's get... ultimately what it comes down to. Yes. Is, is that we're going from the old design to the new design and they're going to start the new design. Now, secondly to that, not only are you getting the entire min state set here, but you're getting it certified perfect. Yes. And yes. understand grade means everything. You know, we saw it in the first box coin. You're right. $7,800, $69,300. 1986, $70, uh, you know, $800, $69,200. Right. That's the difference. All three of these coins are certified min state 70. Secondly, the core that these are in this is the most popular core in the marketplace. I'm the only one that can sell it. NGC flag core is 100% exclusive to me. So you can't get this core. It's certified absolutely positively perfect. It's a complete set, all three mints, and so there'll be no other mints. So if you get this and the proof coin, if you get this and the proof coin, that's all of them. There's only going to be four coins, four silver eagles in this last year of issue. There's no special editions. There's no reverse proof. There's none of this other stuff. They always do these special coins. There's no burnished coin. There's nothing. No there's kidding. mint state and there's proof and that's that. Really? And in the mint state, there's the West Point, there's the San Francisco, and then the Philadelphia with the Philadelphia being incredibly rare and the San Francisco being pretty rare. And then the West Point still being pretty rare, one of the rarest coins, Silver Eagles, in the last 15 years. And then you have demand at a level that's absolutely, positively, 100% unprecedented. And then you have the trio of these coins with my custom labels, with the custom core that you can't get anyplace else. I was finally able to put together enough coins to be able to actually sell these at the, at the price of $579.95 for the three coins with the Philadelphia Minute coin. I mean, the Philadelphia Minute coin in PCGS is a $400 coin. Coin. That makes the the uh, W and the S at less than a hundred dollars a piece if, right. you, if you go with that same thing. And I have the exclusive core and the exclusive label, so you right. can't buy this set anywhere but right here, right now at uh, at HSN. And I'm debuting this. This is the first time I've done the flag core three coin set. And Mike, let me ask you this: Do you will they be using the Philly and the San Francisco Mint to do the Type Two because they're so far behind? And no do idea. you do you think you'll be able to pull off getting all three of these in that version? No idea. Yeah, it'll be interesting they to find out. Must have anything. I, I I suspect they will. We're anticipating they probably will because I mean you know if they can't keep up with the demand on this, how about the new coin? Yeah, it's, it's just I mean that's insane. why they're going to start making the new coin in probably four weeks. That's amazing. and that's why this coin's going to fall. This the, the yeah. production of this is going to fall behind, yeah. and the Drastic. premiums are going to go to a historic level. And here's what's going to happen: right everybody, this is going to be such a big news story. It'll be in the normal news, not just the coin collecting world, right? right. And what's going to happen is. If people will try to get that type two, then they're gonna go crazy trying to get the type one. Everyone knows that. That's why everybody's getting the type one right now. Because the demand for the type one, it's hard to go backwards. You can always wait and go forwards, but you, it's very difficult to go back. So the premium on, on these could be insane once that type two is released and everybody understands the significance of it. Then they're gonna try to go backwards and that's when everybody goes, oh, I got the type one. How much do you wanna pay for this? Because I'm the only one who's got it, right? So understand that. All right, gotta give you a quick update. If you want our Kennedy 
Kennedy, the Silver Kennedys. There are two dozen remaining. It's a set of 20 coins. People are buying them just because they want silver on hand. We have only 20 left, and that's going to be another sellout tonight. So once again, I probably wouldn't wait too much longer if you wanted to pick those up. All right, coming up, I have another brand new item you've never seen before. Also, I do want to show my dinosaur. Just a quick little hit on it later. <laughs> just because I think it's a cool coin. <laughs> Never run out of the things you love with AutoShip at HSN. Receive your favorite items with automatic deliveries and easily customize your shipping preferences. Plus, AutoShip locks in your order price while enrolled. It's the smartest way to get more of a good thing. Search AutoShip on HSN.com. What really separates a house from a home? A home should provide comfort, coziness, and convenience. Join me on Monday nights where I'll be giving you great ideas for your home, your kitchen, and your life. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. Well, you're watching uh, Suzanne Brennan, that's me. Um, and also, oh, I gotta make a mention, a real quick show mention. Tomorrow night, uh, as part of our National Crafting Month, um, I have my own show, it's called Suzanne Gets Crafty. We have such a good time in that show. I've got a great lineup. Everything has been made specifically for that show. It's not like it was on our 24 hour event. So if you're creative or you'd like to become more creative, join me tomorrow night, 7 to 9 p.m. East Coast time. Then what happens is I'm still on an extra hour, but we're doing an after show that starts at 10.30. And that's really fun because I highlight items that you never have seen on the air with guests. And we do all of that on our HSN main Facebook page. Also, if you get an opportunity, please like my Facebook page. It's Suzanne Runyon on HSN. Love you to do that. I'm always posting weird and strange things. All right, now we just talked about the three-piece set the rarity of this, the exclusivity of this, how hard this is, is ever gonna be able to duplicate again. And we already are down to less than a thousand of these remaining. Maybe you say it was 500 some dollars, uh, I don't know. How about if we just separate out one of these, which is the West Point Mint, which is the main mint that usually makes the American Silver Eagles. So I like this, Mike, because if you couldn't quite do maybe the 500 and something, this is an affordable way to jump in. Well, this is that, you know, like I said, so we, we've been talking about this, uh, it seems to some folks, I'm sure, almost endlessly. But the fact of the matter is, is this is the story of the year, the story of the decade, the quarter, the story of the, of the century in numismatics is the change of the American Silver Eagle. Yes. And this is, this is simply the West Point Minute coin that you see right here, okay? This is the West Point Minute. Now, I have this early release. So what this is, is this is from the first 30 days that was released. So these are coins that are from January, in essence. So they're early release coins. They are in my exclusive flag core. I'm the only one that can sell flag core. They are certified absolutely positively perfect. As you see right there, they are type one designs. We've got them in stock and ready to ship, which is, like I said, a big deal. As Silver Eagles try to find them out there in the marketplace. And so what has happened, look, I originally was selling this coin at, you know, $99, you know, and, uh, and then all of a sudden, not in the flag core, but the, but the regular Eagle, and then all of a sudden, you know, silver went up 25%, then all of a sudden the premiums went up 400%, and all of a sudden you can't find any coins. And all of a sudden, all of these things are happening, and so we had to go into our silver Eagle stash, if you will, where we, you know, we bought literally millions and millions of dollars worth of silver eagles. I was hoping to wait until July when they released the new coin, but I don't know that we can. I don't know that I'm going to have any coins. I know the United States Mint can't make enough. So this is the coin I've been talking about. This is, in essence, the regular issue coin, certified absolutely positively perfect. It has got currently a mintage just about the same as the first year of issue, the 1986 which in Mint State wow. 70, NGC is an $800 to $1,000 coin. <laughs> so the bookend to this is going to cost you over 1000 bucks. all right? right? If you can find a 1986, I think $1,000 is probably, it might be more like 15 I don't know if you can even find any right now, because everybody wants the 86, just like everybody wants the 2021. Yes. And so I have got these coins in stock, ready to ship. Mint State 70, absolutely perfect. Uh, early release, this is your chance to own numismatic history. 
This is your chance to own numismatic history. I guess let's go back to 2019. I think that probably makes the most sense. In 2019, the United States Mint announces that they're changing the design of the American Silver Eagle. That they are, are, are getting rid of the design they've had for 35 years and doing a new eagle instead of a heraldic or classic design eagle. They're going with a new eagle in flight. We assumed when they announced this, as I think the Mint did in 2019, when they announced the design change would come in 2021, that they would change it at the beginning of 2021. Unfortunately, between 2019 and 2021, we had a little thing called 2020 happen. That changed everything. Shut down the U.S. Mint, shut down production, shut down everything so that everything changed. So the United States Mint decides they just can't get it done. So at the beginning, very late in 2020, they said, okay, we're not going to release the new design in January. We're going to continue to make the old design for six months. And then we're going to start making the new design and, and sell it the last six months. Well, that created this incredible, incredible uh, run, this incredible shortage of all these United States issue points. And so what we have is a situation where – you have to get the coin because it's the last coin in the issue, but you have to try to buy it from somebody that actually has it. And then on top of it, you want to buy it perfect. And if you can, you want to get it in a specific and exclusive holder and an exclusive label as well so that you can guarantee its long-term collectability. And that's exactly what we can bring to, to the table with this right here, right now. Right. Absolutely perfect. Min State 70, early release, West Point minted coin in stock, ready to ship, is ultimately what it comes down to. Folks, this is a coin that you have to have. It is underproduced by literally tens of millions of coins. Do not wait now. Now is the time to get this. Right. I, I mean, I'm going to sell this coming into July, but I see 139, 149, 159. I see 199 in my future with the way things look like in the marketplace. Like, I'm not clairvoyant, but I'm just relying well, on 40 years of experience. Right, right. And again, they're, 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 they're truly coin geeks. They have, like, graphs and trends and all this kind of stuff. I mean, nobody's more connected to what's happening in the coin world than Mike Mizak is. This is a great one to get, guys. And with our three flex pays, remember, you spread your payments out over three months. You get it right away, but you pay it off later. And you still have 30 days. I think that's so important to understand. We, um, If you bought from a coin dealer and said, you know what, I really didn't think I should buy this. I'm bringing it back. They're not going to give you all your money back. They're going to make a profit on your return. <laughs> you think about it, right? So, but we don't do that. We give you 30 days to make sure you really love it. I wanted to show this just because I think it's one of the coolest coins I've ever seen. This is Black Rhodium. It's from the Canadian Mint. It is a series they're doing on dinosaurs. And this is actually one of the first prehistoric dinosaurs that they discovered in Canada. And they're celebrating it. It has one of the craziest long names in the world. And you can show, oh, can we show it again? This made me laugh. I'm like, there it is. If you can pronounce that, let me know. <laughs> like me on Facebook. And if you figure out how to say that, Thanatosaurus. Like, who named it? I want to know what scientist or archaeologist went, let's call it a Tantanosaurus. Like, that's insane, right? Anyway, but it's a cool coin. And it's really neat. And it's a super limited edition. It's a $20 silver coin that's actually done in black rhodium. Like, really neat stuff. So I just want to point that out. Also, Mike, if someone goes to hsn.com, what do you think is the most interesting coin? Coin, other than the American Eagle story that you have on .com that we don't show on the air? I think probably the uh, Coca-Cola bottle cap coins. Oh, funny, really? Yeah, I love those. Those are awesome, and check it out. I've not seen them, so you can see them on .com. All right, so now, Mike, we're going to move on. This is going to be our Emergency Silver Eagle, uh, the S-Mint. Um, it is $139.95. And again, now this is San Francisco Mint we're talking about here. Now this is the Emergency Mint. So we have a hard enough time getting the West Point minted coin. Remember, this was the emergency production coin. The United States Mint decided very, very, very early on that they would not be able to keep up with demand, extremely early on. So they asked very early in the process if San Francisco could kick in on a one-time basis and add some coins to the collection. And so they made 200 boxes of coins, or I'm sorry, 2,000 boxes of coins at San Francisco. They sold for uh, actually a pretty significant premium in the marketplace. 
Uh, they sold out instantaneously, and remember, only through the authorized purchasers. They don't sell them through uh, uh, directly to the United States public. And so what happened with that is then those coins – are all gone already. Well, here's the deal with these. These are Mint State 70, and these are the emergency production San Francisco Mint. So they're going to be somewhere between 10 and 20 times rarer than the West Point Mint, only $10 more. Here's the other crazy part about this. In both the San Francisco and, of course, the Philadelphia, the emergency minted coins, those mints aren't used to making silver eagles. Those coins are not used to be making silver eagles. So they pack the coins into the tubes and the boxes by hand. And while they may take as much care as they possibly can, and I've met many fine mint employees, and, and they just, they're just they doing the best job that they can, it's not the same as being packed by machine. Once you, you know, introduce the element of, of humans into coin collecting and the coin packaging, all of a sudden the number of Mint State 70s goes down precipitously. So San Francisco minted coins are about four times harder just by grade than there are to get the West Point minted coins. So they have four times greater, and then, you know, then they're, you know, 20 times greater. So at the end of the day, you're looking at a coin that's literally going to be in 70, 100 times rarer, 100 times more difficult to get than the West Point minted coins. I've got a few of these coins as well in Mint State 70, absolutely perfect, in the custom flag core. I'm the only one that can sell flag core, so you can't get anywhere here. So that, that's what you're with the San Francisco Bridge label that you see right there. And once again, this is going to be the emergency release coin. This is the emergency release coin, uh, the emergency production coin that's in there as well. It's type one, certified absolutely perfect from the San Francisco Mint, hence the San Francisco Bridge label that you see there. And more importantly for this, in stock ready to ship. And here's what I mean by that. I called someone the other day, another coin dealer friend of mine who specializes in Silver Eagles. I said I need some San Francisco boxes because we know the box numbers. As long as they're sealed, we can buy the boxes and send in the whole box and certify them. And he said, I'll call you back. He called me back. I said, what's the price? He said, there is no price. So what do you mean there's no price? He says, nobody's willing to sell them. <laughs> nobody's willing to sell there are coins in the marketplace right now that nobody is willing to sell. S-Mint Silver Eagles that you see right here. Proof Silver Eagles that you're about to see. Philadelphia Minted Eagles. People just don't want to sell the coins. And the reason is, is they're unsure. You know, the market doesn't like uncertainty. We're unsure if the United States government is going to continue to make Silver Eagles. When are the West Point Mints going to be shut down? The San Francisco's are already sold out. The Philadelphia's are already sold out. There are already tiny mintages. So what's going to happen? Are you going to get caught short? I can't sell my coins. They might be really, really, really good. Well, that's not what we do. I buy coins and I sell coins, and that's what it is. And if I can't get coins, then I can't get coins. So I tried to get San Francisco minted coins, and folks, they just simply don't exist. So people are so hoarding words, them. There's no more of these coins to get, so the market is the market. And while the, S, uh, the West Point men may actually be shut down and they may stop making those coins, they stopped making the San Francisco minted coins months ago. Right. It was one allocation. That's it. Wow. That's crazy. All right, so there it is. And again, we've got FlexPay on these guys, so you can spread your payments out over three months and get it at home. I mean, you can certainly, I know we kind of move fast in these shows, but you can certainly go online and do your research. You know, Google what's going on. You're going to be really amazed at what's happening. And then you'd be kind of proud of yourself saying, you know what, I reserved it. Because remember, when type two is released, get your hands on type two, right? There's just no doubt about it. But then you're gonna to scramble to get the type one. That is so significant to have both those coins in your hand at the same time when that type two is released. It's gonna be very hard to go backwards on this. Yes, in the, you, know, you can find old coins out there, but in this case, it's gonna be difficult to be able to get this pair together. And when it comes to really the American Silver Eagle, it's the most important pair ever made, other than if you have the original one and then the last one of the type one so if you've got that trio congratulations if you're holding on to that 80 what 85 86 right 1986 
Yes, 86. Yeah, 86. Oh my gosh, I wish I had like 20 of those in my little hands, but unfortunately I don't. I didn't listen to my uh, Everybody uh, does. Yeah, they're, right. They're, 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 that's the same thing, unviable in the marketplace. I can, I can only imagine. All right, like, so let's now go to this one. This is Philadelphia men. Um, and so obviously this is an emergency run as well. Yeah, um, this is the Philadelphia men. Just a couple minutes right here, just to show you. I mean, you know, we had the trio, obviously. Um, the rarest of the rarest, the best of the best, I mean, you know, is going to be the Philadelphia Mint. These are the three Mint State coins that are the Type 1 coins. There will be no other Mint State coins. There's the West Point Mint, which is, and like I said, as a whole, as a whole, they're going to end up being, if they're not the rarest coin in the last 15 years, it'll be the second rarest. But the demand on these is through the roof. Everybody wants the Type 1 coins. Everybody wants the Type 1 coins. And as you go through, once the Type 2 coins are released, it's going to be even crazier. So you have the West Point Minute coins, which are on a two-week back order. San Francisco Minute coins were sold out months ago. Philadelphia Minute coins were sold out six weeks ago. The rarest of those by far is the Philadelphia Minted coin that you see right here. In Mint State 70, absolutely, positively perfect. And you're going to have the Liberty Bell label that you're going to have. Uh, so Flag Corps exclusive to me. And, of course, Liberty Bell with Flag Corps exclusive to me. It is a tremendous, tremendous opportunity for you to be able to own the rarest silver eagle in the most high demand year that the United States government has made in 35 years, since 1986. This silver eagle has looked exactly like this since 1986. It is changing in a couple of months. The United States government has, in essence... I mean, they're going to make it for a little bit more, but not much. I can tell you that right now. It is just 100% going to be the coin of the decade of the, of the century, in my opinion, because it is literally once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Because by law, after they change this design, after they change this design, by law, they can't change it again for 25 years. So a once-in-a-lifetime deal, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be able to own the last year of issue of the American Silver Eagle in Mint State, uh, in Mint State 70, absolutely, positively perfect. And again, notice in the show, too, you can get the trio. So there's the trio still available. Uh, you, you broke them out, uh, three of them. Although in the trio, those are two emergency release, and the third one is the West Point Mint then, right? Correct. Right. Okay. The two emergency release and the West Point Mint. And like I said, as a whole, as a whole, the, uh, uh, the mintage is about the same as 1986. And actually at NGC, I just went back to look. But I haven't checked it a little bit. Yeah. So the Philadelphia Mint's about 10 times rarer than the 1986. No, the 1986 crazy. Silver Eagle and NGC, just any label NGC, Mint State 70, right. is about a $2,000 coin. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's about and a $2,000 coin. And that's, that's I remember it wasn't that long ago. It was eight, it's double. Well, okay? and that's the original it's coin in double. the entire so series. This coin right here is yeah. far rarer. Then, and and a, a, a fifth of the price. That is amazing. Okay, guys, yeah, that's again, really big deals. This is a really fun night to be able to get a couple in your collection, maybe start your collection the first time. That's kind of cool, too, because again, so very highly collectible. One of the biggest stories in the coin, in the history of the coin world, is what's happening with these type ones and types twos and what you're seeing here. By the way, the Kennedys are now sold out again. That doesn't surprise me because they typically sell out every time we get them in, which is kind of rare. All right, Mike, so this one is a very limited edition. You saved it for tonight's show. It's brand new. We're launching it. What makes this significant and different than what we've seen before? I, I, I want to do something. It's funny. As I'm doing this, you know, I, I, track, I, I, I track HSN and everything on my iPad as I'm doing this. Right. One of the coins that I sold, sold here not that long ago was a 1986 uh, a San Francisco minted Mint State Silver Eagle in our bridge court. You know, bridge core, bridge label that yeah, we yeah. sold here. Yeah. And I think we sold it for $1,100. I just got somebody offering me those coins. They'd have three of them for a mere $3,000 a piece. Stop it. Just, just 
just as just as an aside. I, I, I just as I got the email, I go, hey, that's my coin, and they're offering to sell to me for triple what I sold it uh, to them on HSN uh, about uh, seven months ago. Wow! Okay. Oh so, my gosh! So that's that's where we are in the marketplace right wow. now. So, so that's as great. we go to this, all right? <laughs> yes. Keep that, in mind. This, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. As well. Keep in mind. So um, we've talked a lot about the American Silver Eagle of 2021 and the, and the, and the change in the design. It is fantastic. Um, it is historic. It is cataclysmic. It's titanic. You pick, pick your adjective, okay? It created such a buzz, and we just saw the three coins that are the Mint State coins. West Point coin, San Francisco tried to help out, Philadelphia had tried to help out, they can't keep up. Part of the problem with that was the fact that they had to delay the release of the proof coin. Traditionally, you and I, when we sell the brand new Silver Eagle uh, uh, New Year's Eve day every year, we, uh, we have the proof, proof coin for we 2021. Proof we had to it. cancel that, if you recall. That right. was supposed to be in there because the minute, the last minute says, we don't know when we're going to release it. They ended up releasing it February the 11th. No kidding. February the 11th. It sold out in six minutes. Oh, my gosh. It sold out in six minutes. Wow. And, and this it's is the not to the sell out of a West Point minted proof silver eagle in the history of the United States Mint. Now, here's the crazy part. They've sold out before, not in six minutes, not even in six days. I think it usually takes weeks if it ever sells out. But then they go back and make it again. Okay, you know, they continue, you know, they'll go, okay, we're sold out for well, we'll get back and make some more because they're gonna make them for the whole year. Well, and this year they're not gonna do that. Because they got to make the Type 2 coins. No way. And more importantly, they have to make the Type 2 proof Silver Eagles not only at the West Point Mint, but also at the San Francisco Mint. So this was a one-time deal. They made these wow. coins, they sold these coins out in six minutes, and that's it. Our word is, is that the United States government will not go back and remake, make any more of the 2021 the W Type 1 uh, uh, Silver Eagles. They're not going to make the S Mint. So there's going to be two Silver Eagles this year, Mint State Silver Eagle, Proof Silver Eagle, and the Proof Silver Eagle sold out in six minutes. Oh my God. Now, what has happened is, is that has made this, of course, the most, popular, the most popularly collected Proof American Silver Eagle in the history of the American Silver Eagle series from 1986 until today. This is the most, this is the most important coin. But here's the crazy part. It is also because it was a one and done. They did some for the congratulations set. They did some for this. Uh, they did some for that. Uh, uh, they also, by the time you look at the entire mintage of all the proof silver eagles made by the United States government, you know what they made? 355,000. Yeah. You know what makes that? It makes it, it makes it the rarest annual issue proof silver eagle by the United States government, wow. period. So you have a coin that is by far and away the most desirable, the rarest, the, the most highly sought after, and you know what you have? You've got that coin completely, completely sold out, and you have $339.95. Hmm. I went out to look, as a matter of fact, for a uh, 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 what was the king of the Silver Eagles before this, which was the 1995 Proof American Silver Eagle. Okay, this coin is rarer than that coin in Mint State se or Proof 70. In Proof 70, like NGC, it's about a sixteen thousand dollar coin. Oh my goodness! It's about a sixteen thousand dollar <laughs> coin, and you go back and look at any of these proof American silver eagles, these proof American silver eagles that you're going to have out there, and you're talking about hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars uh, per coin to be able to get these proof silver eagles, of which this coin is rarer than all of them. In terms of the regular American Silver Eagle, this coin is rarer than all of them. And I think that's critically important for you to understand that I have these coins in stock ready to ship. Right. Now, there was 4,300. We moved heaven and earth to get as many of these as was humanly possible. <clears throat> I think I aired this one other time before. We've already sold 1,300 coins. Now, you have to understand, when I have this first-hand issue, this 4,300 coins, 
That's not what I have for this show or this visit. That's what I have forever, <laughs> okay? Right. And understand that represents almost 2% of all of the Silver Eagles, proof Silver Eagles in existence. When I, so when I say I moved heaven and earth, I mean that I went out and bought, I mean, you know, with just an unlimited checkbook, every single solitary proof Silver Eagle that I could lay my hands on that was 2021. Wow. And that's what I have right now. And that's what my offer is right here. It will be the only proof Silver Eagle in 2021 with the classic design, with the old design. There won't be an estimate. There will be one coin and one coin only. The government has made two different mints in the proof Silver Eagles for quite a few years now. But they are so far behind. They're so desperately behind. They have now produced the rarest silver eagle. They won't be producing the estimate. They, and who even knows what they're going to do with the Type 2s. But for 2021, the last year of issue, the last year uh, of this design that they're going to do, this is the coin. It is the only coin, and it is only for this quantity can I do $339.95. And wait, Mike, just repeat this, too. When they released it, now is this one available to the general public, or is it also you have to be... No, this one was available to the general public. Okay, so they released it on their website. So they released it in six minutes. The six entire, minutes no matter what grade it is, it doesn't matter if it's a forty-five. It's ungraded. Ungraded. All of them are ungraded. Ungraded. Just the, just the coin in a box. In, in, in coin in a box. In six minutes, every last coin was sold. Every last out. coin was sold out. And then, of course, after that, the price instantly doubled oh. and then almost tripled. Of course. Okay, yes. and that's right now. So right now, we're at about a double, double and a half. Wow. But that's before the mint hasn't even shipped all the coins yet. Once all the coins get in there and they start getting sorted out and seeing what happens out there, and I think them. that, and people start realizing there's no more coins because everybody thinks the mint's going to go back and make more of these coins. They've done it in the past. They're not going to. I just, they're not. I just, that my information is they're just not going to. They can't wow. even keep up with the mint state coins. Oh, right, they're right. 80, they're eighty percent behind on the gold coins. <laughs> they sold the proof gold coins out in three minutes. Every single silver eagle and gold eagle that they release is selling out instantly. They can't make enough coins. The demand is at the highest level that it's ever been in the history of numismatics. When you have the opportunity to buy these coins, I mean, you know, take particularly advantage someone of that has them in stock. I mean, you kind of need to take advantage of well, this. Well, now, Mike, 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 you know what's interesting? Court. Mike, hang on one second. Because multiple times tonight, which you normally do not say that very often, you have it in stock. I want you to explain that, because actually that is not something you normally say when we're on together. Well, because I normally have coins. And we always have coins. No, well, but you know, I mean other we'll people. We sell a coin or something like that, but we, we right. announce it as such. Right. But you have to understand, and the reason I say that is there's a lot of people selling coins out there right now that Don't they do them. not have. Yes. There's a lot of coins out there, people right there out there right now selling coins they likely will never get. Mm. All right? And so what happens is is they'll either keep your money, they'll perhaps refund your money if you're lucky in two or three or five months or whatever it is. When they find out that they can't get any more of these coins, oh I'm sorry. That's not the way we do things. When we promise a coin, we deliver a coin. Yes. Okay? Over the course of years, you know, we've sold coins that were out there. Like I said, we occasionally do pre-sell. And something happens, we deliver the coins. It doesn't matter. Right. Okay, we're going right. to deliver the coin. To your, at your expense sometimes. Absolutely at my expense sometimes. Mm -hmm. So this particular coin, I've got these coins. This is not a coin I would sell on a pre-sale, okay? Because I've seen the market. I see the future of this of this last year of issue or last half year of issue of the American Silver Eagle. And given the fact that there's going to be one proof, it's going to be this coin. This there's is it. one proof Silver Eagle. You're looking at it. They only made 355,000. Now, some of those, some of those were made and put into a congratulations set. I don't know if you remember the congratulations eagle. Yeah, yeah. They did 35000 which isn't particularly rare for a congratulations eagle. That's a $1,000 coin right now. <laughs> that's insane. Darn, I should have bought that's those. A, that's a $1,000 coin right I now. I missed out on that one, too. Damn it. Yeah, <laughs> because, and simply, uh, simply because, it, because it's the last year of issue. Right. Yeah, and I mean, you know, the it, original it, it, story. It's not even the rarest congratulations right. set by far, but it's a, like a $1,000 coin. <laughs> That's because crazy. it doesn't matter because it's the last coin in the series. The yeah. government's not making it anymore. It's supply and demand. Do the math. 
We've mm-hmm. got this coin. It's in stock. It's ready to ship. Do not wait. Do not hesitate. Do not delay. If you want the only proof coin that's going to be done in 2021 <clears throat> in the American Silver Eagle series, okay, this, this is, is the it. coin. They're only making the one. And they're not said, producing they any more. they do as well. Okay? And they're not producing any And they'll do any... a reverse proof, and they'll do all these other special coins. They're not doing any of that. So they, they've they scrapped... They one run of these. So wait, Mike, Mike, they've scrapped all the other specialty coins for, this year. For type one, yes. Every single... All of their energy is going towards type two. Oh, and by the way, the 100th anniversary of the Morgan Silver Dollar, the 2021 Morgan Silver Dollars, which we haven't even started to talk oh about. Oh, my in, a, in any regular year, that would be that would be all the buzz. That would the be the story. thing. The Mint still has to make those. Oh, my gosh. They still have to make the new gold coins. They're starting to make the new platinum coins. And now, all of a sudden, they made one little allocation of proof American Silver Eagles. In the single most significant... Look, if they would have made the rarest proof Silver Eagle in any year, a random year, okay, it would be a huge deal. But it's not a random year. It's this year, or more specifically, this half year. That's really, really, really important. Right. And so I've got these coins. And this, like I said, this is first day of issue annex is 100% exclusive dust here at HSA. Right. You can't get it anywhere else. So it's 100% exclusive dust. It's certified perfect 70, which is a big deal as well. It's the rarest proof, regular issue proof silver eagle the United States government has ever made, period. Okay? That's end of story. That's so we insane. know that. So we've got the rarest coin. They're not going to make any more. It's the first time in the history of the United States Mint they sold it out instantaneously in, in one fell swoop, and they're not going to remake the coin. Wow. It's also the most popular proof silver eagle. They're not going to do another S Mint. They're not going to do any specialty coins in Type 1. And that, last that, time that this design. Heard about. And, and last then when they time. Going to type two, it's going to be crazy. And last time for the t- this is the last time for this design in this, too. Like everything yeah, just culminates. They're too. changing it in July. Right, right. It's going to go to what's called the type two, which was never supposed to happen in the first place. So again, that's right. why there's this urgency in Mike's voice. He's really he, for for Mike. He's trying to relay to you that this is such a big deal. You know, it's 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 very very different than. And I've been blessed to work with Mike now for 16 years. This year and going into this year it was just turned. The coin world has been turned on its head. And there's been some really significant cool things that's happened over the years, but nothing, absolutely nothing compares to this. And for us to no. have these in stock, for you to be guaranteed to get them, you will have them in your hand. You're not pre-ordering. You're not, somebody's not giving you a piece of paper and say, yeah, we're hoping to get them to you once we finally get ours. Mike absolutely guarantees it. This comes to your house. We've got three flex pays. That's how you grab this one before it's sold out. You spread your payments out over three months, but it comes right away. We don't delay it even though it's flex you get three months to pay it off but we'll ship it right to you you've got to be on the line for this one don't miss the opportunity and i know it can be especially if you're novice you're like what are they talking about but boy it sounds exciting get it at home you've got 30 days do your research wait for thir- wait for 29 days and just see what happens in 29 days that would be interesting alone because of the craziness of what's happening in the market for these coins hey mike i've got about 90 seconds left anything you- more you want to add on this one yeah, just the fact that, I mean, you know, when you look at this, I mean, this is a significant year. It might be the most significant year in numismatics, certainly the most significant year in numismatics this century. And within that, it's going to be the Silver Eagle. And in the Silver Eagle right now, the proof Silver Eagle, because it's a singular coin, that there's no, one mint, that's it. It was sold out in six minutes. So in this singular issue, in this singular most important year, this most important Silver Eagle, you've got this one chance to own this one coin that exists that we're going to have in first day of issue, certified absolutely positively perfect. Like I said, in stock ready to ship, I think it's really important. If you're going to start coin collecting or you are a coin collector, this is a coin that literally must be in your collection. All right, Mike, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to you for now. Thank you for an awesome couple hours. Absolutely. That was a lot of fun. All right. We'll see you soon. Hey, let me tell you a couple of quick uh, programming updates. Join me tomorrow night, National Crafty Month, all month long. On Tuesday night, I have my show, Suzanne Gets Crafty. Everything in the show is created for that show, for that two-hour block. It's a lot of fun. I have brand new goodies, lots of surprises. That's tomorrow from 7 to 9 p.m. East Coast time. At 10.30, I will go and do a Facebook Live on our HSN Facebook page, which is a lot of fun as we continue to celebrate National Crafty Month. 
HSN and QVC in honor of Women's History Month. We're shining a light on some of the women-owned small businesses that are at the heart and home of our communities. Hear their unique stories of inspiration and innovation and discover exciting products you'll love to shop. To learn more about these women-owned businesses, visit hsn.com and qvc.com. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Care to see our Gemstone Enhancement Chart. So nice.